Hey guys, welcome back. Today is cylinder head day. So I went ahead and the cylinder heads I had, the seats were shot out and not to mention the machine shop that I have nearby is terrible. So what I did is ended up buying a set of remanufactured heads, the cylinderheadshop.com and I think they're out of West Virginia. But um, I have already sprayed a little bit of paint on them just on the three sides that are visible but as you can see new valve springs and everything is nice and new and clean looks like they did a really good job you can see over here everything looks real nice so new well reman factory heads so that's the plan for the cylinder heads and i did find a gasket set a headset victor rains and you can see here it's for the magnum and uh victor rains and then the part number here that is supposed to be a headset with mls gaskets and then the also the uh mls head gaskets and then your intake gaskets and valve stem seals intake gasket all that and i went to open the box and that does not look like an mls to me as you can see, that's just like a graphite composite gasket. So that was pretty disappointing. This kit was $80 from Rock Auto, which is a, a steal, $80. I think the parts store wanted $150 for the same kit. So as you know, Rock Auto is hard to deal with. They're online only. There's no phone number. You can't call anybody, nothing. And I wanted to tell him about the problem. Couldn't do it. Anyways, I emailed Victor Rains. They have a, an email. There's a phone number, but it's in Germany. So I'm not calling Germany. But uh, anyways, no email back from Victor Rains. So that'll be the last one of those I buy ever. Uh, no more Victor Rains stuff. So on top of that, I ended up buying the Cometic MLS gaskets, the proper ones. These were $80 a piece. So you can see why I went with Victor Ains. They said MLS with all the other gaskets for $80 and these are $80 a piece. So anyways, that'll, I'll use that on another. So anyways, I can use all the other stuff to put the engine back together and then just save the head gaskets for later on. But this is what I ended up with, Cometics. And it said for the Magnum, yeah, it says Magnum right there but as you can see it doesn't have the push rod guides which is not an issue but just one of those if i was to go with the fell pro 1008 it would be the same issue but anyways that's gonna be what's going on the car and uh i'm gonna go ahead and get to work on it i uh, just need to clean up the surface on the engine block and i think we'll be ready to go back together see how far we get today Probably the most time consuming part of the whole thing. I've been out here about an hour just cleaning the gasket material off. I, once I cleaned it off, I sprayed it down with uh, some brake clean, actually put it on a cloth and wiped it off. And then wiped out the cylinders, blew out all the bolt holes, and then did it like two or three times. And then also put oil in each one of the cylinders with my hand rubbing it all the way around the cylinders to make sure it's been you know the engine's been open for i don't know three weeks now and i did have it covered but i still wanted to lube those rings up and the cylinders for when it starts up but yeah the cleanup is as good as i can get it and i'm going to go ahead and slap the gaskets on it drop the heads on it First cylinder heads on it's not tightened down yet got the head bolts in though and just wanted to show you i'm going back with stock head bolts i had every intention of getting arps and my buddy called me after he saw one of my videos he is a mopar fanatic he's been racing for years and uh anything he says i trust he said use the stock bolts 
half inch bolts. He said they don't stretch like the Chevrolets. He said if it's a Chevrolet, go ahead and replace them. Uh, he said these with those those gaskets, those MLS gaskets, he said this will hold anything I want to do. And also, as soon as I posted a video a couple weeks ago about the, the heads and all, Dulcich, Stephen Dulcich, he posted a video putting heads on with ARP bolts. And the ARP bolts were shorter than stock. So then you have the, you know, it, maybe it's a stronger bolt, but it doesn't have enough thread penetration. So there's that too. But anyways, I'm lubing the threads with just a very, you can see just a, just a damp coat of oil. Also the, the head right here. So every surface while I'm torquing will be lubricated. And then on top of that, we're going to do 50 foot pounds first go around and then 105 on the second go around. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the second head on there and torque these things down. Heads are bolted on, so just gonna start going back together with everything else. Valve train, intake manifold, and then bolting the turbo stuff back on. Day number two. Stayed out here last night. Put the rockers push rods back on, torque those 21 foot pounds. Put some assembly lube on the valves. That way those are lubricated. And also did a compression test. 160 across the board except for number seven about 130 if I remember right So just a little low there high mileage motor Obviously, it's gonna not be perfect, but uh about that time the mosquitoes tried to carry me away. So called it a night and uh, Here's my oil feed line for my Turbo as you can see we've got some milky stuff up here. I was coming out of here while I was turning the engine over and I went and got some new oil today, so Valvoline oil, been using that for a while, and also Mopar 090 filter. Also picked up some water wetter. The tracks around here don't really like to use an antifreeze, and we're about to get into spring here in Florida, which is it's going to be hot, so no need for antifreeze. I'm going to run water and water wetter. I might actually get another bottle um, based on the size of the volume in my radiator. So I'll be running water and water wetter. Gonna do an oil change, start getting this intake back on, start getting the turbo, the exhaust, and just taking my time. We have sirens going on right now, so we'll hold on a second. All right, fire truck sirens are gone. Now the dogs are howling, but um, yeah, I'm just taking my time putting this back together. I tore it apart pretty quick, but you know, I was a mechanic from 2000 to 2006 and everything in between 2006 and now has just been hobby stuff so just like to take my time on it no need to rush nowadays so anyways i'm gonna get to work on this thing and hopefully get it done today about to put the intake on no rtv need to go to the store got it got it Going down, down, baby. Sixteen on the first torque, and then torque it again to twenty five. Effective meter. Did you see what I did with that? Yeah, I saw him hanging in there. <laughs> Quick. I was, when I was walking in, I, I, it caught my eye because you know that thing is yeah. like orange or whatever. Defective meter. 
Okay, quick update. Me and David's been working. Intake manifold, valve covers, manifolds, and crossovers going on now. Just need to tighten it up, but uh, making good progress. I had to close the garage because the mosquitoes are coming in, so we might not last much longer out here, but we'll see. What you talking about, Willis? Look at that. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Okay. Right. Yeah, we went ahead and did an oil change. And uh, water came out first. You can see a little color change there. You know, I didn't run it, but maybe a mile, two miles at the most after the head gasket popped. So, see that water in there. But uh, new oil going in. That's an empty joke, but new oil going in and new filters already on. So, going to call it for tonight. It's dinner time. See you tomorrow, maybe. Probably not. Probably Friday. Okay, so slight change of plans. I was gonna go ahead and get this thing running in this video, but I wanted to get you guys an update and I'm not probably gonna be able to work on it tonight. I have things to do. So just wanted to get you guys an update. Uh, I know some people have been asking what's going on with the car, but it's real close. I will be working on it in the next few days, get it started. And then there's some other projects I need to do to it as well. And then coming up soon, I'm gonna take that motor apart and see how it looks internally, make some decisions because like I said in the live feed, Red Truck had some metal shavings in the oil and I'm kind of thinking I want to have an engine ready to go in it before I pull the old one out instead of pulling the old one out and looking at it, ordering parts and I think it'll be, it'll flow better if I can do it that way, if I can manage to do it. But um, anyway, Mr. Jones coming back together Hopefully for the last time, for the final time, so we can go for some rips. But uh, I'm gonna get some more videos coming to you guys real soon. So keep following, hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.